What about you guys? It's a going? I hope you're all keeping well today. Hope everything is good where you are. As you may all notice with the lighting in this video, everything is looking very harsh, very unflattering. But that's because I wanted to spend today's video talking about a little product I bought a couple of months back just to sort of help with my lighting setup, mostly for the videos and a little bit of the photography as well. And it has been this guy. This is the newer 32 inch or 80 centimeter umbrella softbox. So I just wanted to spend today's video just talking about this product, why I use it, and give you some examples as to how I can help you out with say video or photography as well. Now in no way am I sponsored by newer for this video. This is just my own overall opinion about this product. Some of the good things, some of the bad things. Maybe by the end of it, this could be something that you're looking to add to your photography arsenal. But first and foremost, let's fix up this lighting because this is really blinding me right now. Ah, there we go. That looks much better now. Not as harsh, not as direct. Everything is looking a lot softer. Plus, with the umbrella softbox, it's helped spread out my light a little bit more so you can see there's a little bit more behind me light-wise. But compared to before where the shadows were extremely harsh, my highlights and my skin tones were also really harsh as well. Everything is a lot more softer, a lot more delicate now. So when it comes down to it, when this arrives in the post, this is literally all you get. You get the carry case, you get the soft box itself, and you also get the white diffuser. No boxes, no anything like that. You do get some plastic packaging, of course, but you know, that doesn't really take up too much room. Now everything here is made out of nylon, the carry case, the soft box and the diffuser. So it's all really high quality, it's very well made. Seems to be pretty good for the likes of the weather, different weather conditions. Maybe wouldn't want to take it out on stormy days or anything like that. But it seems to be all very well made. You got Velcro along the top of the carry case just to keep everything closed over with the newer logo as well, just so that you can show people off as to where you got the product from. You also have Velcro along the edges of the soft box and the diffuser so that way this can go on the box. Pretty easy enough. So it's a really easy setup. There really isn't too much to it. But let's actually get have a look at what it actually looks like when we get it onto our light. So I use the Rode Light Neo 2 for all of my lighting and it was pointing directly at me at 80% at the start of this video and you've seen it was really harsh. So what I had to do to put this softbox adapter on is turn the light the other way, put the softbox on and then put on the diffuser and you can see now everything is looking a lot more softer. But you can see why a lot of videographers would tend to use these sort of adapters because it just adds a much more nicer tone to the video, helps spread out their lights as well. So not only can you use this for video, you can also use it for your photography. So throughout this video, I'm using a constant light setup, whereas you can also use a speed light through it. They do say you can use a full strobe light, but it probably might not be the best in here. More keep it to the likes of the smaller light setups. And I apologize as well, I haven't had much time to take this out and do a photo shoot with it, especially with this lockdown going on, but I've managed to put up a little setup here with some uh, toys so that you can get a real effect of what this softbox adapter is doing for photography. So let's go over and have a look. So like I say, I haven't had much of a chance to get this out and do much portraiture work with the softbox adapter. However, for this little exercise, what I've done is I have set up some toys. So for you fellow nerds, especially the Doctor Who ones, I have set up two Daleks and a Mechanoid. We're going old school Doctor Who for this sort of shoot. So for this practical, I want to do four different light sources. I want to try natural light. That's where the light is off, but just trying with the light with around the room. We're going to then put the road light back on, but without the soft box on. Then we're going to put the soft box adapter on, but without the white diffuser. And then finally, we're going to bring it all in and put the white diffuser on and see what all that looks like. So with this shoot, all I am doing is setting up my camera here. This is a Sony A7 Mark I with the Tamron 28-75 f2.8. I've also got it on a Geodus Memoir 40 tripod. And all I'm going to be doing here is just keeping the camera in aperture priority. That's why I'm using the tripod. Uh, keeping the aperture at f4 with an ISO of 100. So my shutters are going to be quite low here. But 
beauty about the tripod ever is everything is going to be nice and still i just wanted to have a nice clean image here i do have a two second timer set up for each shot and i've also got a central autofocus point on now i've got my focus already set up and it's going to remain throughout these photographs so we're going to try a shot here with the light turned off so we'll just keep that off and just use the, the light within the room and i go and take a photograph So the camera was giving me a shutter speed of 1.6 seconds. So it was a little bit of a longer period of time, but you can see from this shot, just with the room light, yeah, it looks all right. The background looks okay. You know, all the silvers and all the blues are standing out, but we could probably do a little bit more with this just by bringing in the light sources. So what we'll do is we'll turn the road light back on, keep it at 80%, but I have the uh, white balance also set to 4400 as well so I, I find that setting has a nice sort of balance between warm and cold so we are just going to see what this looks like with the bare light so when I go and take a photograph so the camera was giving me a shutter speed of one over ten so a tenth of a second a little bit more of a quicker time than before but still quite slow that's why again the tripod is needed but you can see from this shot we have a much more brighter subject going on we have a bit more oomph to the image compared to the natural light the mechanoid in the background is standing out nicely the background is standing out nice and well also the daleks are a little bit quite dark mind you so they are but you can notice here that highlights are very strong shadows are very strong as well just with keeping with this one light source so now we're going to put the softbox on and we're going to try it with just the silver material and um, without the white diffuser on the front. So let's see how that looks like. Let's set that up first and foremost. So now we've got the softbox adapter on and as you can see we have to point the light the opposite direction. So it's pointing into the silver material. And even before we've taken a photograph you can see already that compared to before we have a little bit more of a spread of light going on because the light is pointing into this bright material. It's helping spread out as well. But let's see what this looks like for our photograph. So I go back to my Daleks here and I go and take a photograph just to see. So the camera was giving me a shutter speed of 1 over 13, so a 13th of a second. So a tiny bit quicker than with the light just bare, but still quite slow without where I need a tripod in here. But you can see already from this shot, with the spread of light, everything is spread out a good fair bit more. The mechanoid is still looking nice and bright, but the Daleks in the corners are a lot more brighter as well. The shadows are still just a tiny bit on the harsh side, but nothing compared to what was in before, where everything was very dynamic, everything was very harsh, everything was very contrasty. With that spread of light, it's helped spread across the background as well. So we have really helped out this shot a good fair bit, but we've only got one more step to do, and that's where we put the white diffuser on the front and see what the difference that's going to make here. So let's get doing that. So now we've got the diffuser on and you can see already just how much more of a spread of light that's going on here with the light that's pointing off against the silver to the silver then reflecting back towards the white. It's helped spread out that light a good bit, a fair bit more. Now of course the bigger the softbox adapter that you go you can get bigger than what this here is. Uh, the more spread of light that you can get but I wanted to go for a 32 inch just because I didn't want anything too big and bulky I just wanted to find something that was quite a nice neat size but for here you can see just already even before I've taken a photograph just how much more of a spread of light that's given me as well so let's go ahead and take a photograph and see what that looks like so let's go on ahead now the only thing with adding in this diffuser is that it has cut into my light. So my exposure has changed. Where we were in the sort of 1 tenth, 1 thirteenth with the light directional or into the silver, it was still quite bright. The diffuser has sort of dimmed things down a little bit more now. I could just brighten it up with the light, just go a little bit more, but I didn't want to. I just wanted to keep everything the same. But with the camera here, it's cut into my shutter speed and I've gone to a fist of a second so one over five now you can see from the shot and i already compared to before we have still that really nice spread of light going on the daleks are still appearing nice and bright the mechanoids still looking good but look at the shadows as well the shadows are a good fair bit more softer a bit more delicate than before whereas the previous shots they were a lot more harsher and see as well with the background we have a really nice spread of light on there as well so when we keep going back we have without we have with the diffuser 
we have without the diffuser just pointing into the silver so we still had a wee bit of hardness harshness going on but it helped diffuse that light a good fair bit more whereas when we had the light directional it was very harsh and then we had the natural light which looked okay but compared to what we have now we have something that's helped give that image a little bit more life. So here's just my overall opinion on the product. I'm quite happy with it. I'm really happy that I got it. It's really high quality. It's very well made. It's nice and affordable too. I mean, it's only about $24.99. That's in pounds sterling on Amazon. I mean, you can get bigger ones that are about the same sort of price, maybe a little bit cheaper here and there, but you know, I've been really happy with this. It's a nice size for me. It's well made and it's nice and affordable too. The newer stuff is generally pretty good quality. I always tend to look at them when it comes to any sort of photography supplies. Now there isn't really too much that I can say in regards to negativity on this product. The only sort of things I can say is it, it's a little bit fiddly when it comes to setting up initially when the umbrellas fall down and you want to expand it out. It's quite tricky to get a grip off the aluminium pole to bring it out. You have to sort of push the front end to sort of give you a bit more length on the aluminium pole. And then you can get a grip and extend it out. I think that the uh, it should be flipped around. That little end should come to the bottom. So it gives you just that little bit more length, bit more grip here and there. But that's only just a nearly point, you know. But you know, other than that, I'm really happy with this product. So I hope this softbox umbrella is for you. If you liked what you've seen, do let me know in the comments down below on some of your thoughts. If you own this already or if you own it in different sizes, let me know as well on your overall thoughts. Just again, just in the comments down below and do hit that like, share and press that wee subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with future videos. But until then guys, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.